Welcome to Learn CAE channel. In this tutorial, CFD analysis of NASA ROTA 37 test case using ANSYS CFX shall be demonstrated. ROTA 37 design specifications are mentioned here. Input shall be blade profile coordinates and output will be mesh and CFD analysis results. Let us create the blade mesh in ANSYS Turbo Grid. Blade coordinates are extracted for published data and refined as per Turbo Grid input. Complete data set is provided in the description below. Let us import the refined blade coordinates for mesh generation. Let us move the control points to the extreme ends of the domain. Now we shall provide element size settings in mesh data column. Let us increase the number of elements in span wise direction. After mesh is generated, let us export the mesh file for CFD analysis. Let us open ANSYS CFX and import the mesh data. Let us enter the RPM value. 
Now we can see the arrow is pointing in the opposite direction of blade rotation. Let us specify negative RPM value to get correct rotation direction. Now the arrow is pointing in the right direction. Let us specify the boundary conditions in this section. Now we shall create expressions for mass flow rate and pressure ratio. We shall use these expressions in monitor tab of output control. We shall be able to see the performance parameters during solver run. Let us save the definition file and start ANSYS solver.
we can see the convergence of residuals here. Once the simulation is complete, we shall open the result file in CFX Post Processor. Let us go to Turbo Mode and initialize the component. Let us plot Mac number in blade to blade plot. Now let us see vector plot for the surface. We shall check the performance parameters in a new table. Let us use the created expressions to get performance parameters.
wrote a 37 characteristics and efficiency plot comparison with experimental results are shown. Thanks for watching. Kindly comment and subscribe.